I could not have asked for a better introduction. Samantha, that's wonderful. I really thank you so much. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you obviously are an inspiration to us all, all, all of us that are really deeply committed to improving the lives of our community, but are really invested in developing our youth because they really, and we really need to listen to them and we really need to take the time to, um, to engage with them. So thank you very much for that. Um, and I want to thank, you know, so good evening to everybody. Buenas noches a todos. It's um, a, a real pleasure and an honor, a uh, real honor, and I'm humbled to be here with you tonight and humbled that the Drum Major Institute would consider me as someone worthy of recognition. And um, it's very touching to me. And I feel the same way that was mentioned before, that I'm, I'm not much into receiving these types of recognitions. Pero se les agradece mucho por este honor, so thank you. Uh, the Drum Major Institute as a progressive think tank is an entity that I have come to greatly respect. And it should come as no surprise when one looks at this wonderful institute's inspired beginnings. The DMI's work to energize, engage, and change our public policy discourse regarding urban America is critical now more than ever when we look at the current political climate. As a progressive, I am honored to join all of those illustrious individuals that serve to further the drum majors initiatives and who work to ensure that DMI serve as an agent of change and live up to the legacy that served to inspire its genesis. And as an elected, I am inspired by some of DMI's most recent work, in particular, the Clearinghouse for Progressive Model Urban Policies and its Marketplace of Ideas series, which highlights ideas that are practical, effective, and yes, progressive. And also, obviously, by the DMI Scholars Program, which I think is an unbelievable contribution to the progressive movement. <clears throat> In particular, I would like to commend also Andrea Batista Schlesinger, who is serving at the helm of DMI. Her energy and leadership have helped to take drum major to the next level. So I really wanted all of us to also thank her for the work that she does. <laughs> Additionally, I am honored to be recognized alongside David Simon and Steve Phillips. And I want to thank them for the work and their commitment. Uh, that they, they've uh, been recognized here tonight for that. You know, if we were to allow ourselves to be guided solely by what we read in the papers each day, all council members are ineffective, self-serving individuals working in an obsolete and irrelevant municipal legislature. And although I am confident that the majority of you in this room aren't guided by mainstream reporting alone, reporting that clearly has a lot to be desired, there are many who do. This job, particularly now, is not easy, and its challenges are compounded by the deep-rooted cynicism many people have about elected officials and the political process. Our true motives are consistently challenged, and following the logic of this cynical way of thinking, it is the exception and not the norm to find electeds who are truly committed to the work they have been entrusted to do. I am here not as an apologist, or to say that all electeds are infallible or beyond reproach. Clearly, there is great room for improvement on all fronts and all levels of government. We must strive to be as open and transparent in our deliberations and decision making as possible. That is why I firmly believe and stand in favor of serious reform of the rules and policies that guide our actions, not only locally, but at the state and the federal levels as well. But despite the cynicism that oftentimes is well-founded, there are those of us who are truly inspired by the people we meet each and every day that are moved by the educational, economic, health, and social disparities that are too often the reality in this land of plenty. There are many of us, although at times it feels that there aren't enough, that give of themselves in the hopes of reversing these immoral realities that permeate our society and who have these motives as their goals and not just a means to another end. In my capacity as council member, it is my hope that through the work I engage in every day, the conversations with my colleagues, my work on the budget negotiating team, as a member of my community, I can contribute in a very small way towards changing public policies that seek to alienate and disenfranchise most of us in this city. This work, though, can never be done alone, and I want to really take a moment to thank all the people that are here and who came to join me, uh, my staff and some community members, and I know I saw some colleagues here early, so I really wanna uh, thank them. 
Their strength and support will contribute at a local level towards building a progressive movement within our district that will demand more from those re who represent us and help shift that mindset that is resistant to change. Now finally, the fact is that the landscape is quite daunting. Currently as a city, we have before us a budget that will rip $415 million from our public education system. A budget that seeks to do the least and not the most to help stabilize our public housing the most vital and critical affordable housing stock in the city and the country. A budget that seeks to close many of our publicly funded daycare centers, centers that provide critical care to our working families struggling to make ends meet, and cut critical youth services that keep our youth engaged and involved. And today I just wanted to share that I went to the funeral of an 1199 union member who died as a result of her employer illegally cutting her, her health benefits. And this is stuff that really should not be happening in our society and in our city. But although the terrain is challenging, it is organizations like DMI that inspire many of us to strive to change this landscape and change the mindset that keeps us mired in mediocrity. We can do so much more, so I hope that everyone is ready to roll up their sleeves and to get to work. So thank you very much. Buenas noches.